Hey guys. Hey Vivian. Hey, how are you? Good, good. Uh, you guys said you have something you wanted to talk to me about? Um, yeah. Are you sure about this? I mean, I don't want to hide it anymore. What, what is it? Well, we have a confession to make. Um, we plan to tell anyone, everyone in NSU at Banquet, but we wanted to tell you first because you mean a lot to us. Okay. Remember how we would go out late for food a lot during winter quarter our junior year? And then there was that one time that you took us to Teg and then to Sonic, and then we read our horoscopes and it said that Mika and I were a divine duo. We had actually been psychologically priming you with words like taco and milkshake to make you take us there. Well, that's not what I was expecting. W what do you mean? Isn't this a relationship confession? Us? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Man, that's no a good way. one. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for telling me, but honestly, guys, driving to get food isn't that big of a deal. I mean, I ended up having fun, so... Hold on. There's more. Uh, you know how we started to get closer because we were on exec together that one? It's okay, Mika. I got this one. I got this. <sighs> You and I had gotten a lot closer earlier that year, and I knew that you and Mika would get along really well together, so I brainwashed you into running for VP so you would be forced to spend more time with her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what do you mean? Hey, hey, hey. Well, you see, that is a great segue into our next topic of conversation. Vivian, Mika and I are gods. Well... Gods is kind of a strong word. It's more like divine beings. It just means we have a lot of influence over what happens around us. What we're trying to say is we've been in control of everything that's happened in NSU for the past four years. What? I know this is a lot to grasp, but just, just let me explain. It all started in the fall of 2017 with the Kakui Kodomos. It would have been weird if Mika and I were in different fans, so we just pulled our strings and bam, best fam. Wait, then why did you leave Kevin and me with napping Nekos? Yeah, I think people started to get kind of suspicious that the Kakui Kodomos literally obliterated everyone in every single event. So we kind of toned it down a bit after that year. Hold on, doesn't this mean that there's nothing we can do to stop Psycho Shujinkos from winning this year? I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, whatever. What else have you guys been behind? Well, there was that one time that one of the buses for Meltdown was a couple of hours late. But you weren't even there for that. Yeah, I was studying abroad, You know but... how Chris does that thing where he gets super bad FOMO every time we do anything fun without him? Yeah. Well, he saw my Snapchat story, what a great time we were having without him, and he decided to just ruin our night because he got so jealous that he stopped the bus from coming. Jeez, Chris. Hey, Mika's made a mess of things too. You know how Kevin Whoa, does this thing- okay, hold please. Vivian, let me just preface this by saying that sometimes Chris and I do this thing where when NSU is kind of lacking in certain respects, we'll, um, we'll generate humans with certain abilities to help fill the gap. Okay. For example, after our first year when NSU membership was getting super low, we uh we made someone who's super good at flyering to help boost our numbers. Oh, Sando! I always thought she was too good to be true. Yeah, but bringing it back to Kevin... Okay, you know yes, yes, yes. With Kevin, I just thought it'd be super cool if we had someone really funny to help hype up parties and stuff, you know? But I got a little distracted in the final stages, and... um. Yeah, it didn't turn out as I wanted. That's how we got Kevin. Ah. Uh. But that aside, my track record's still really good. I mean, we made uh, we made Kip to help spice up our culture corners. Go okay. KFC. Tiff, so we could have a chance at winning the INC basketball tournament. Mm -hmm. And uh, and Alicia, so she can help up our meme game. Leash! Vivian, are you okay? Yeah. But if you guys are divine beings, couldn't you have just stopped this whole coronavirus thing from happening? <laughs> About that. What? The whole coronavirus thing, very, very vaguely our fault too. What? Last March, Mika and I got into an argument about whose exec was the better exec. Obviously ours. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. My exec was so much better than your okay, exec. Okay, okay, that's besides the point. Moving on. So we got into this whole argument about it. 
I don't know if you remember, but right before coronavirus hit, it was stormy for like a week. Basically, this guy has the bright idea to end our exec just because he already knew we were going to be more successful than him. I'm sorry, what? End our exec? You know, that's why coronavirus happened. Really? Well, anything sounds bad when you say it like that. I got too emotional, okay? And then things spiraled out of control. Well, hold on. That doesn't explain why coronavirus is still here, though. We stopped being exec last spring. <sighs> Mika, go ahead. I, too much. Okay, I got this. Well, at that point, things had escalated so much that we couldn't really do anything about it. But we tried to make the best of things. I mean, who doesn't like taking their classes past no pass, right? Wait, wait, wait. So you've been behind every crazy event that's happened in NSU for the past four years? Yeah. yeah. So Andrew and Ahmad's Japanese-American plumber skit, that was your fault? No, 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 no. That was just Andrew and Ahmad doing their thing. We could not have made something like that even if we wanted to. We definitely did not want to. 